All right, so here's the new LT6 engine that is in the Z06. I'm not going to go into a lot of details. I'll point out a couple things that I find very interesting, okay? One thing I find interesting is how they've lightened all the weight on all the moving parts on the interiors of the engine. You can see that here with a minimal profile of the pistons heads. They've done that to enable the engine to accelerate at an incredible rate. Another thing that's interesting is the fuel pumps are up here on top of the engine. Now normally, the fuel pumps will be down in the fuel tank, but they put them up here for better efficiency. They're mechanically driven. Now I only wonder, a lot of times you see a lot of amateur track drivers out to the track and their fuel pumps fail and they have to drop the gas tank and pull the fuel pumps out of the gas tank and then repair them and put them back in. I wonder how that's going to work with the fuel pumps on top of the engine. I wonder if they'll be more reliable without being down inside the sloshing fuel tank and if they'll be more or less accessible. I'd imagine you just pull these two air intakes off and then the fuel pumps would be sitting right there. Another thing that they've done is the headers are a real nice four to two to one configuration. Now the GM and engineer was saying that this is done to create a perfect balance between performance and fuel economy and emissions. So they've got thought of everything. You see there's dual throttle bodies, 87 millimeters, which is pretty large for a stock engine, especially when you have two of them pumping. And then dual intake manifolds. Now the intake manifolds, each side contains four flutes, or the engineer called them trumpets, that are designed in a way that they allow the air to enter the cylinders at more than one ratio of boost. So essentially, this intake system is providing a little boost to the engine while still remaining naturally aspirated. Now that boost level is not, you know, seven pounds or 12 pounds like you might have with twin turbos, but it's just a little more than one. So that's pretty good. Pretty nice that they've done that. That's what enabled them to get 670 horsepower, which is 150 horsepower more than the LT2 engine. And this engine only weighs about two pounds more than the LT2 engine. Another thing is this engine has six oil scavenge stages to keep the oil moving evenly and steadily throughout the engine. Now, the LT1 engine had one level of stage, one stage of scavenge, and the LT2 in the C8 has three stages, and this engine has six. So it's going to run reliably for a very long time. You can see here how the flutes are designed to drop the air down right into the air cylinder. Each cylinder has its own flute, so there's eight flutes. Also, between the two air intakes, there's three of these valves that open and close in sequence to equalize the air pressure going into each flute for each cylinder. Apparently, the two back valves work in conjunction with each other, and the front one works separately on a separate timing. The, L the Z06 has 670 horsepower naturally aspirated. The, the, the most horsepower ever in a naturally aspirated stock engine. Just amazing. I love all this chrome work. Yeah, I know the real engine isn't chrome like that, but they sure have done a nice job with the display of these things. The lifters are all special, the springs are all special. Each engine is hand built by a single individual, and supposedly they're going to have a program 
where if you buy a Z06, and I'm sure you have to pay an extra amount, that you can go there and you can hand build your engine. Okay, the original builder of the engine signed it and it had displays of plaque on the top of the engine. Well, this one here has no name on it. And supposedly, if you build the engine yourself, you'll have your name on the plaque. That's a pretty cool thing. Though I wouldn't trust myself to build an engine of this type at all. I am no mechanic. I am just a guy that's going to have fun with this car.